Hello. Hello. Huh. What Kia you want? Didn't your mama ever tell you about meeting strange men in cars <laughs> and parks? <laughs> well, you enticed me with your candy. <laughs> I have no candy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Andy. How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Awesome. I'm in your presence. Oh, thank you. So you grew up here in Jacksonville. Tell me a bit about your life story. I did. I grew up in a um, in an area called Washington Heights. It's known as a low-income area, you know, and um, it's gotten worse over the years. However, there's hope there and some things that are going on that hopefully I can do now in my position to bring um, community awareness, to bring hope and inspiration to that community. And then my parents moved to Lake Park Estates area, which is more middle class. And I was um, attending range at the time when I met a lot of my lifelong friends. And then I matriculated to Florida a and University, received the physical therapy degree. And PT. Moved to, yes. And moved to New York for a job offer after that. And physical therapy wasn't what I expected it to be with the hours and the pay at the time because the medical, the insurance was kind of messing with the medical industry. And so I just used my other talents. And that's when I got into my professional modeling and my professional singing career. I was in a Negro spiritual chorale, a world-renowned Negro spiritual chorale, performing in Carnegie Hall and some other places as a lead for soprano. And then I joined a uh, gospel jazz group called Noise. And um, then I uh, moved back home and I had my little one, Miss Akai Marjay, who's um, just fantastic. And then I, uh, years later, I got married and had my son, Akil Jai, who's also fantastic. <laughs> you young man, and um, now I'm just pursuing my um, professional artistic entertainment side. So I, I do professional modeling, professional acting, I'm a radio show host, I um, am a professional singer, jazz soul are my genres that I concentrate on, although I can sing all types of music. Grew up singing classical and uh, playing classical piano and learned operatic music. And um, so it's very nice, very fun venture. I just released my debut album, Lift, which is a jazz soul compilation and compilation. And it's very, uh, I'm very happy and very proud of the project. Okay, I got to go back to being a PT. So did you okay. do the cadaver thing? I did. I worked on was, that. And I really liked it. Was it a male or a female? Both. <laughs> Both. I chopped it open. <laughs> And I learned all <laughs> sorts of things about the body, from bone <laughs> structures, muscles, and organs. And uh, they're very interesting to work with. I really, I really enjoy working with the cadavers. So tell me a little bit about the songs in your Lift album and their message. Well, Lift, I, I need to start with the title because um, I, I named my CD Lift because the world we live in right now, we need some, something positive. We need some message that says uh, we need to care for humanity as a whole. We need to do our part as individuals and get with others who have like minds, like spirits, like hearts to um, come together to do that. No matter your, your race, <clears throat> your um, gender, your uh, ethnic uh, culture, your um, environment you grew up in. It's, a, it's about time we pull together. So Lift, I want people to listen to that CD and let the songs elevate them to a higher level of consciousness and spirituality. To your um, animal, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, and um, you know, so Lift actually uh, is from Lift Every Voice and Sing. So I redid that song on my album. I think it's so prevalent. It's not just the, the Black National Anthem um, in the United States. However, I think that across the board, everybody of different nationalities can really listen to the lyrics and um, let that be an inspiration of hope for them. So that's Lift. I redid Lift Their Voice and Sing, jazz, soul version. Um, but also I have covers of, of Autumn Leaves, which is a famous jazz song. I did Motherless Child, which, which is a Negro spiritual, spiritual um, a jazz version of that. And all of the other songs are my own written, uh, original written 
songs and um, from traditional jazz of Summer Rain, which tells a story about you losing a loved one and that Summer Rain actually are the tears that flow from your eyes and the memories that you once remembered and shared. Then we have a song, which is my first single called You Seem Familiar. <clears throat> and You Seem Familiar is a song uh, that basically is about you seeing somebody and you know they look familiar to you, but but you can't quite get where you know them from. <laughs> and but it's like a spiritual uh, encounter that you have with that person. Like was it another lifetime? Was it in a line somewhere? Mm -hmm. You seem familiar. Um, and uh, but my music producer of the whole album, he's extraordinary, Larry Wilson. And we actually did You Seem Familiar two years ago on his album. And then now two years later, when we did my album, you know, we used it for my album as well. But the whole the whole project is nothing but live instrumentation. All of the musicians, I can't call them all out, but I just have to thank them openly. Thank you. If you worked on my Live CD, I thank you because, for, because of you, it is what it is. And I thank all of you for being a part of it. But I just want the listeners to get that. You can go to www.akiauwanda, that's A-K-I-A-U-W-A-N-D-A.com and get Lyft today. And also it's sold on all of the global uh, music platforms.